is up guys it is the red stone scientist here and before i say anything else i want to stress that this concept i'm about to show you works in 1.8 1.9 1.7 what have you i don't know why i did it in that weird order but uh anyway guys uh what i'm going to show you today may actually be a little bit of an outdated concept uh, you probably won't need it that often, but you used to need it a lot in 1.7 when comparators were all the rage before stats. Uh, but occasionally, uh, especially right now when I'm playing around in 1.9, I found myself that I need to use it. So uh, what it is, is it is a T flip-flop in one command. So all you do is you do test for block, tilde, 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 uh, command underscore block, negative 1. In 1 1.9, you need that negative 1. Uh, in other versions, you just need a 0. And success count, 0. Now, uh, I'm not sure, but I think in previous versions, it may need to be 0B, but at least in 1.9, it has to be 0 and not 0B. So basically, you push done, take a comparator, and now you've got yourself a T flip-flop. So the way this works is it tests to see if its success count is zero. So right now, its success count is zero because it's not giving an output. So if I activate it, it says, oh, my success count is zero. So let me give an output. Now that it has an output, it says, oh, now my success count is one. So when I activate it again, it'll say, nope, it doesn't match the required tag. So this is a perfect T flip-flop. Now, of course, it does use a comparator, but, uh, Sometimes you may find this to be useful. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And uh, what, what is my intro? I, I always forget my outro. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.